An arrow is fired into the air and it reaches its highest point three seconds later. What was its velocity when it was fired? So all we've been given, numerically, all we've been given is time equals three seconds. So let's look at our kinematics equation, our first kinematics equation, and see what we can do with it. We're trying to find V0, the initial velocity, the velocity when it was fired. So the first thing we do is isolate V0 and we move it over to the left side. Now, what do we know? We're at the very peak of its trajectory, at the top. We learned earlier that at the top, the velocity of an object, as it's going up and right before it comes down, is going to be zero. So V is zero. Acceleration, we know, is negative 9.8 meters per second squared. It is always directed down, hence the negative sign. So now it looks like we have enough numbers to go ahead and put them into the equation. And here we have it. Velocity is equal to negative 9.8 meters per second squared times 3 seconds right here. And notice that the negatives cancel out. We have a negative for A and a negative here. So our initial velocity is 29.4 meters per second. So when you throw it up in the air at 29.4 meters per second, it will reach its maximum height three seconds later.